Jamaica is very, very uh, strong on how you share the information. The U.S. is very, very strong on how much information they give you. In January, you indicated that the U.S. government was waiting four and a half years to sign an MOU with the government that would help to tackle the issue of corruption at the ports. Can you give us... <laughs> Can you indicate, sir, where that process is right, as we speak? I can, uh, I will, as you know, that I, I get myself in trouble because I tell that, you know, I don't skirt it. Uh, the Jamaican government uh, uh, reacted to it. It took us a long time to get it to the, uh, get it formulated on that, what you call the CMAA. Right. Okay, the CMAA was formulated in, they came to, because there's so many people they have to sign off, because it takes in many areas of the, of the Jamaican government. Mm -hmm that they have signed off in the, MA, uh, the CMAA right now is in Washington. Now, the same problem that we had getting it here through different departments, we are now, uh, we are now watching it process. It's been over there now for six weeks, six, I'm sorry, for nine weeks. Mm -hmm. the in CMAA, Washington. Yeah, the CMAA has been approved by Jamaica for review by the, uh, by the U.S. government. Uh -huh. It's been there now nine weeks. And we are waiting for it because each department now it is passed. It's passed two departments. We are now it now will go over to uh, it will go over to ICE, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's the next step that'll go there. Once it goes there, then it will come back to Jamaica, and then they will come together and formulate a an agreement. So that's what where the the MOU is, is situated in. It's, uh, so it's uh, more on our side right now. Mm -hmm. When I talked the last time, it was on Jamaica's side. Uh -huh. So this time, the ball is getting now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the sticking point, did you ever find out what the sticking point was? Why it, why it took so long? I, I gather that there were concerns around the, the how the intercepted communication would have been um, utilized by the Americans. The, the it became it, it becomes a national security it becomes local security and it becomes you know how do you how do you police it so uh, it was more so on the Jamaican side of, of uh, how the information was being gathered one of the things that we said we will give you all the information any information that we have we will be transparent in the information that we have that we will fold it back into to the Jamaican government be it through your port authority, through your uh, the JCF or just JDF, because a lot of times it, uh, there's a lot of things that are coming in at the port. Uh, the how you handle uh, the cargo coming in, how much cargo is being uh, being uh, examined. Now there's some cargo that comes in under diplomatic. Believe it or not, we've never done that. But there are some companies or countries that actually have uh, have containers come in under diplomatic uh, uh, trouble. So the sticking point there was how do we share it? How do we share the information? Uh, I want to say that that Jamaica is very very uh, strong on how you share. The information, the U.S. is very, very strong on how much information they give you. And what we're saying <laughs> is that it must be transparent in bilaterally through the agreement, and the agreement actually does that. Okay. The agreement actually does that. So it removes it removes some of the things that, you know, more like uh, you know, when was the last time you beat your wife? <laughs> I never bet my, beat my wife. Well, the first thing is, but the question was, is, when was the last time you beat your wife? You know? So that's where we're. That's where we are. So it, in fact, it. Uh, we hope that it will move uh, through ICE within probably the next uh, next six six months and within the, within a six month period, and it might it should come through in the next uh, couple months. But I'm hedging. <laughs> I'm hedging on you. <laughs>